What's going on guys, Fatful Games here, and today, we're back in Undertale, been two seconds since the last video, all I saw was that the upper room has yellow sparkles, so let's go into that. Yellow sparkles, I like yellow sparkles. You hear a past conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under, standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Oh, this bridge. Isn't this the bridge where Undyne comes after you? Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I know it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I, I, I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Huh? Yo, that's your idea of something mean? My sister says that to me all the time. Guess I have to do it, haha. <laughs> Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I'm... I'm such a... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go home now. You're gonna fall off the bridge, I guarantee it. Oh my gosh, he fell off the bridge. Is it he or she? I don't know. Oh my gosh, you fell off the bridge. That's crazy. Yo, well, wait, help. I, I tripped. Oh, hold on. Go, go, run away, run away. Yeah, 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 dude. If, 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 if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. I'm just face. I'm not looking at the camera, <laughs> and Undyne's just sitting over there, runs away. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Oh my gosh, you didn't fall over. That's crazy. Ah, uh, here we are. This is the final room before this part where you next battle Undyne. It's Battle Undyne, Part 7, Undertale Part 7, Web Fighting Undyne. What did I originally battle Undyne in on my YouTube thing? In the in the neutral playthrough, I wanna Yeah, I battled Undyne originally in Part 11. Well, that was like the end of Part 11, I battled Undyne. So, yeah, okay. So let's, 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 let's go up here. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? <sighs> you! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alistair's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. Swordswomen, whatever. But you! You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy, goody, two-shoes shtick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. 
Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment, but we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Fahaha. <laughs> Save. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Let's do this. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. It's on guard and guard. I still don't know. Don't I? No, I can't flee. For years, we have dreamed of a happy ending. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Ooh, I won't let you snatch it away from us. I, oh, I won't let you snatch it away from us. Yeah, enough warming up. Oh, damn. Oh, oh. Yes, I can escape. I can escape. I can escape. I can escape. Well, too late. I've got better to do. Just run, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run. Now oh, I'm green again. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever made it past as I do I not count? Killing you is now now is an act of mercy. So stop being so damn resilient. Oh yes. I mean you literally just let me flee. So like You're going. Damn you're fast. You escaped from me for the last time. Alpha told me humans were determined. See now what she meant by that. But I'm determined too. Determined to end this right now. Right now. Right now. Ah, uh, uh. ah. Die already, you little brat. Wait, what? Oh, you pulled a little sneaky on me. Oh, yes. Escape, 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 escape. No, not spare, you idiot. No. There's a flea button. You <laughs> You will never spare me! Press the flea button! There we go! Wait. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Go, go, go! Okay, thanks. Stop running away! You literally- you didn't do anything, so I mean, I'm gonna keep running, man. What do you actually say, Sans? He doesn't say anything. Oh wait, he, oh yeah, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. We'll go and power up for them. Okay, so, take up water. Then give them the cup of water. Give them down the water. You, you don't even pour it in like the mouth. You just pour it on on dying. Apparently, from here I go to visit Undyne's house or something. I can't even interact with that. Last episode. Here we are. What's this music, though? Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! This is a completely foreign part of the game, so you know what? Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? <laughs> okay! Here, I'm dying. My friend bought a gift for you, on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun.
That's okay. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful! I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne couldn't be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay, uh, sure. Sit down and progress? Sure. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. I am so shocked and confused right now. All set. What would you like? What? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Soda. Okay, so what can I put? Can point at Undyne? Are you hitting on me? <laughs> Sugar goes in tea. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate, green cylinder, uh, tea box, blatantly correct choice. I mean, sure, tea box, why not? Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Can't move. There we go. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Sip the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dogs to fight. <laughs> like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. 
I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You had a tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus is cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for- Wait, what? <laughs> you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Fahaha! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends! He just- I just- Okay, let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Now we pound. Uh... Strong, why not? You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Jeez, okay. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest! Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. How we put them? Uh, careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They crack against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir hot up. Hot up. Hot up. I'm spamming my enter key right now. Ugh, let me do it. That's not... You didn't give me a spear to start with. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Uh, hold right, turn up, burn up the heat. Turn up the heat. Hot up! Dude, we're literally gonna burn down Undyne's house. Hot up, darn it. No. Left? You fool! This burner only goes one way! The... Okay, jeez, just burn. Ugh, let me do it. See? This is how you... What did we do? We just burned down Undyne's house! Ah, oh, man. No wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! What the heck is this? I've been defeated, my house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my boss pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. What is the music though? Show me what you've got. Okay, um... Fake attack? Pretend to swing Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt either. Hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... What does that even say? I'll just say shtick. But, the way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. 
It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the heck out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the heck out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Sounds like only Fire lives here now. We just burnt down Undyne's house, like... What the heck? I reckon that'll do it. Um... Yeah, see you guys next time, I guess. Um, we burnt- we met Undyne, and we burnt down her house. Um... Yeah. I suppose I'll end this video by... Walking back to Hotland, I suppose. So sure, why not? Let's do that. Actually, wait. Let me check something. Okay, so um, I'll end the I'll actually end the recording once I've reached Hotland. But um, basically, see you guys next time. Um, goodbye, I suppose. And then let's just walk to the end and beyond until the outro plays. I don't know. I don't really put end cards on my videos because I can't be bothered to do it after exporting. Anyways, just like I'll, I'll leave this part uncut as well just to annoy you guys. Mwahahaha. <laughs>